Right, so we're going to look at this um, question where we're resolving forces primarily. So we've got a box of 30 kilograms is at rest on a rough horizontal floor. So we've got 30 G going down. Wherever we've got something going down, we're also going to have a resultant force going up. It gives us the coefficient of friction. And it tells us there are two forces both acting in the same plane applied on the parcel. So let's resolve those forces. So this is going to be T sine 12, T cos 12. And the reason is to go from this at bottom of the arrow to the top of the arrow, you've got to go along and up. Now remember, wherever your angle is, opposite is always sine, adjacent next to is always cos. So in the same way, we go across and up. This is going to be 180 sine 20 and 180 cos 20. And then we've also got to put friction in. So I'm going to put friction going this way because from the diagram, I can see that that's like a smaller arrow. But also, if it's the wrong way, the question won't make sense and you'll get negative answers and you'll know you'll have to flip it. OK, so it's an equilibrium. So essentially up equals down. So up equals down and left equals right. So let's do that. So we've got T sine 12 going up. We've got R going up. We've got 180 sine 20 going up, two, three going up, and we've got 30G going down. And what you might want to do is once you've dealt with something, almost sort of tick them off so you know you're not going to miss any of your forces you need to be thinking about. And then we've also got left equals right. So we're going to have T cos 12 plus 0.16 r, so I've written friction straight away as mu r, so remember friction is mu r, mu being your coefficient of friction, and that equals 180 cos 20. Okay, so we've got two equations, two unknowns. We can first rearrange the first one, and I would probably just make so if I call that one and call that two, because you've got you've all got calculators where you can put things in using your simultaneous equations button. So minus 180 sine 20. So then I've got T cos 12 plus 0.16 R equals 180 cos 20. So there are no marks generally for sorting this out beyond plugging it into your calculator. And so let's do that. So if you've got the class with, you're going to menu, you're going to A, and you're choosing simultaneous equations. Number of unknowns would be two. You could choose the X to be the T. So you literally would type sine 12, hit the equals button, it moves you along one. Your R would be the Y, so that's one. And in the last bit, you're just going to do 30 times 9.8. You can even use brackets in here. Minus 180 times sine 20 and hit equals again then the same thing cos 12 0 0.16 and 180 cos 20 and then if you hit equals it gives you your x value which is your t value and if you hit equals again it would give you your r value now we want the x value so your smallest value of t is 139.652 dot 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 so we're just going to say 140 newtons and that would be your smallest value of t for which it remains equating equated to each other i hope that makes sense